Let's have a look together how you can try to attempt the reholing of your higher compressor at home without paying the entire price, price for a new unit. So I was able to find on the market some spare parts. This is a piston and pay attention on the older models uh, you can find around easily on eBay some kits that provide you the external ring. Okay, this uh, black part, hard plastic that usually is the common part that fails. But in this case, unfortunately, you cannot change only this component. You need to provide yourself of an entire new piston like you see here. But fortunately, you can um, find them online. So search. Uh, at that time, I used this, pro, this uh, provider. This is the logo and perhaps here around on four, oh here we are, is uh, Missler, okay, Missler Automotive, I hope operating correctly, this is a Derma. However, so my plan is to use the piston and the uh, cylinder, I will also uh, probably use the uh, silica gel that is inside this cylinder, uh, I'm using all uh, the other parts from my old compressor because I tested um, them uh, in the past and they, they are work fi um, fine and they are original equipment so probably I suppose the quality is higher than uh, probably cheap Chinese parts and so in on this side of the compressor you have a free T30 Torx screw for this plate Okay, that you need to remove. Okay, here we are. After that, on this side, you have this cover with a gasket. Okay, and there are this cover uh, so you need to there are how rivets aluminium rivets so using your drill you can you see here still the little data attachment and uh, fortunately here there is a common nut okay so you need to uh, lock down this part to use a big screwdriver or something like that to just to keep firm the piston and to uh, undo the main nut. So as we told before, this is the main unit, is the electric motors. And usually nothing is going to happen here. What I read on the forums is very affordable and long lasting. You see here, there is a very important keep in mind, a thread that is a, a left-handed uh, thread. In fact, uh, we have here the, the bolt, okay? So keep in mind, very important, you put some um, uh, thread sealant and you undo uh, turning clockwise, so very important. And um, later on the upper part, uh, you have here, there is the cylinder. This is the new unit. There is a gasket here on the face and then there is, uh, don't lose it, another one inside and on this little hole, okay? Uh, this is the old one, this is uh, the Echo original equipment and honestly, I am not an expert, okay? So I cannot say if these marks that I see on the walls is something seriously able to affect the performance of the compressor. I'm reeling the machine just to be 100% uh, sure of what I have in my car. And uh, this is the piston, okay? On the left, the original by Echo, old model, old um, piston. On the right here, the new one, no brand. And uh, also in this case, you notice some different in the upper part. Okay, nothing serious. However, in the old one, I cannot say if this grade of um, uh, missing material that you see on the black sealant 
is enough to affect seriously the performance of the compressor. And then we have the part in which we have the silica gel, so you have a, a cartridge like this one with the entering hole, that is the one that you see here on the back. Okay, there is a, a little filter. Okay, then there is all the silica gel on the others and then on the upper part after the first white filter the silica gel there is another um, white filter okay is this one you see the hold all the black traces are dirt there is this little cover that you put up on the main shaft this one and then you put uh, uh, this metal plate with the springs so pay attention when you dismantling all this stuff just to be clear the metal plate is sitting in this way okay on this side and the spring in this way is collocated in this way okay and just to be clear the on the other side of the spring you have the plastic black plastic cover that is working inside the carton right so everything is sitting in this way at the very end and this one is simply sitting inside the external cylinder okay so on the cylinder you have all the passages that you need so another very important component that you have here is the release variable Okay, you can disassemble it and you can uh, uh, check if there is any corrosion or any evident uh, deterioration of the O-rings. Uh, and mine, I tried to um, make a measurement with the tester of the resistance and I found online uh, the um, correct values and it was, it was working fine. Also, you can try to connect uh, some pins here with a, a low voltage uh, uh, current and uh, is uh, you heard clink 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 you heard that is moving fine so i don't see anything uh, wrong in mine and uh, i'm going to reuse this attach okay and this a uh, special attachment okay and uh, that's all so i'm putting the new silica gel you can regenerate the old one putting the oven they say to consider a pair of hours to 160 degrees however and in my opinion the most important thing is to change the piston okay so back on the desk and uh, finally i discovered that the new cylinder that i acquired is uh, it's not the proper size strangely so also I if I'm going to use the new uh, piston this is simply too large so it's moving freely as you see okay without any kind of uh, a good interference and that's the same also for the old one naturally so I'm uh, reusing uh, my old cylinder that was uh, in my opinion in uh, quite fine condition and uh, if I do an experiment and I put uh, my old piston, okay, as you see, it's moving quite easily up and down. I put some um, uh, oil, silicone oil, just to prime. But when I try to put the new one in effect, it requires a major effort to move inside. So I suppose that um, new piston will be able effectively to improve the performance of the compressor. That's all I'm going to finish to connect everything back and uh, I will hope that is working fine.